Before proceeding, please make sure to subscribe to Intel Maniac and turn on the bell icon for upcoming videos. You can always support my work with your likes, comments and shares. And you can join me on Facebook and Instagram at Dental Maniac. For images and transcripts, please visit my Patreon page, the link for which is given here above. Hello and in today's video, we'll look into the third aspect of pharmacokinetics, that is drug metabolism. Drug metabolism is accomplished by various body parts such as kidneys, liver and the GI tract with the liver being the primary and the main organ for drug metabolism. Let's see how this drug reaches our liver so that the process of metabolism could take place. Drugs taken orally is picked up immediately by the liver through the portal circulation shown in blue. A large amount of drug is processed here before the drug can even make it into the systemic circulation. This phenomenon is called the first pass metabolism or the first pass effect. This first pass metabolism in liver can either metabolize an inactive or a prodrug into an active drug for its intended clinical actions. An example of a prodrug is aspirin, a prodrug which once taken orally turns into salicyclic acid into the liver which is an active form of the aspirin drug. It can metabolize a toxic substance into a non-toxic metabolite. And lastly, it can metabolize an active and a lipophilic drug into an inactive or hydrophilic drug for its excretion. The focus of today's video is the metabolism of an active drug to an inactive drug. Kidneys cannot excrete lipophilic drugs because the drug reabsorbed back into the bloodstream through the renal tubules. That's why in order to get rid of the drug, it must be converted first into a hydrophilic state by making it polarized or charged. Metabolism of drugs from active to its inactive states occur by mechanisms categorized as phase 1 and phase 2 metabolism. In phase 1 metabolism, the drug is modified to a polar or charged form where in phase 2, the drug is further conjugated in order to make it sufficiently polarized so that the drug can then be excreted out of the body easily. Let's simplify both of phase 1 and phase 2 metabolism individually. After the lipophilic drug is taken by the hepatocytes, the main enzymatic system which comes into play is the cytochrome P450 enzyme system. The cytochrome P450 are heme-containing enzymes abbreviated as CYP450. This large family of enzymes has so many subtypes, the most important of which involved in metabolism of many drugs are the CYP3A4 and the CYP2D6 enzymes. Consider the enzyme CYP3A4. The first number after CYP designates the family. The capital alphabet designates the subfamily and then the last number designates the isozyme type. In phase 1, three reactions can take place via the cytochrome enzyme family and the aim is to make the drug hydrophilic or polar enough so that they are not absorbed back by the kidneys or they can easily be excreted out of the body through the kidneys. The reactions involved in the polarization of drugs are the reduction, oxidation and hydrolysis reactions. In oxidation reaction, an oxygen atom is added to the drug. Reduction reaction involves addition of hydrogen atom and in hydrolysis reaction, a hydroxyl ion is added to the drug. In all of these reactions, the aim is to either expose or introduce a polar functional group to the drug so that the drug becomes more water soluble and is then excreted out of the body easily. If the metabolite of the drug is sufficiently polar in phase 1, the drug is directly excreted out of the body without going through phase 2 metabolism. However, if it isn't sufficiently polar, it will then has to go through phase 2 metabolism. In phase 2 metabolism, conjugated reactions take place in order to further convert the drug into a more polar form.
These reactions include adding on a methyl group to the drug by a process called methylation, adding on an acetyl group by acetylation, adding on a sulfur group by sulfation, and lastly, adding on a glucuronic molecule by glucuronidation. I hope this video helps. If you think this video was really helpful, please make sure to like, subscribe, share, and comment if you have any questions. Thank you for watching.